can't wait for this day to start. It starts in three, two, one. Let's go! Let's go! and welcome back to EK News with Sophie McCullough. I'm sorry to be bringing your news today, but today's news is that EK News will be taking a short break. And to commemorate it and remember all of its good times, let's watch back this highlight reel. So let's play Guess That Baby. Go! So as we can see, it is sunny. Welcome to today's case. Oh, oh, oh. Cousins, the Crozers, the Golf, the Gilmores, the McClellans, the Manas, the Doyles, and the Kerns. I know it is. You do love your baguettes, Lou. Don't you? Ah, we me. Only me. I I'm truly sorry to be leaving you all, but don't worry, I won't be leaving you without a program. So let's head over to Studio B to meet our new host. Hello, my name is Khalees Lime, and this is Through the Keyhole where I will be going virtually into the homes of our leaders and you, our panellists at home, will be trying to guess whose home it is. So make sure to stay tuned for more of Fruit of Keyhole. See you later. Let our praises remind of the darkness Of how great and how mighty our God is For the battle belongs to the Lord And no one else We are standing in holy defiance We're declaring aloud in the silence That the battle belongs to the Lord And no one else No one else As we take back the ground from the darkness The battle belongs to the Lord and no one else You're the banner we raise in the chaos No, the gates of hell won't stand against us The battle belongs to the Lord and no Shout out Jose! 
chaos, the crisis, the troubles, the trials, the shadows, the sorrows, the long nights, the hard fight. We are the prophets, the voice in the darkness, declaring the battle is yours. We'll sing
Okay kids, it is time for this week's memory verse. Are you ready? Parents, carers, grown-ups who take care of you, are they ready? Have a wee look. Turn around, kids. Ha turn me around and have a look at your grown-up. See if they're looking a little bit tired, a little bit bleary-eyed. They still haven't finished their wee coffee this morning. Just take your wee hand, set it on like their knee or their shoulder or something, okay? Ready? And you just say this after me. Grace and strength to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good job. Okay, all ready to go. Everybody involved. Right, here we go. And hopefully I can get it right. The Bible says in Psalm 103, the Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Okay, I was a wee bit fast, I'll go slower. The Bible says in Psalm 103, the Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Good job. Let's go again. The Bible says in Psalm 103, the Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. One more time. The Bible says in Psalm 103, the Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Good job. Ah, welcome back, Kingdom Kids. Thank you so much for helping me with last week's case. But remember, this week we still need to look at the second part of that investigation. So, let's go underground into the FBI HQ. Ah, welcome back, Kingdom Kids, to the underground FBI HQ. 
Now remember kids, the things behind this curtain are top secret. I do not want to be losing my job. But anyway, we need to investigate this week's case. And of course, speaking of case, let's look inside my case to look at this week's case. Oh, soaking them kids. We are still investigating the life of Moses and why he has made it into the Faithful Hall of Fame. So now we are going to watch the Saddleback Kids, but I need your help to look for any clues throughout this video which will help us with the investigation. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt uh -oh. to the land of Midian. Uh. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses ah! and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. Whew. So Moses went to Egypt. Damn, and on his way there, he met Aaron who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. After rallying God's people to them, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh and said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. Hey, how are you? Uh. Huh? The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. Uh, huh? uh. So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, you will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey. Moses told this to the people. Hey, hey. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Hey. God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Huh? Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoo, shoo. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh. Oh, my. Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all 
all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up and heard a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, they were terrified. But God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant. Oh, oh. Now I know why Moses has made it onto the wall of the Faithful Hall of Fame. The Bible says that it was by faith that Moses, when he grew up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share the oppression of God's people instead of enjoying fleeting pleasures of sin. Through this week's and last week's investigation, we see that Moses trusted and obeyed God, and he led God's people out of slavery in Egypt. Soaking their kids, this is what God called Moses to do, and he did it. So your challenge this week is to think of things that you can do that will please God and bring heaven down to earth. Hey guys, it's Luke here. We hope you all enjoyed Kids Church today. We're just going to finish off by praying together. The words are going to come up on the screen, so why don't you join along with me? Dear God, thank you that you have rescued me. Thank you that you always rescue those who are treated unfairly. Help me to help others. We love you. In Jesus' name, Amen. We've loved Kids Church this week. And we hope you did too. We'll see you next week. Now, bye. bye. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is the camera on? It's recording now. Oh. Oh.